See? This the wig is cute as fuck.
I have to keep <laughs> pausing the video and coming back because there's so many cute ways that I'm discovering that you can wear this wig. So this is the look that I decided to roll with. I gave you guys different looks that you could go for with this wig. Very versatile of course because it is a very realistic natural looking wig. So I decided to roll with this half up half down look just because it's different. Normally I don't do this type of style. Normally I do just a straight down look and I am good to go. Let's get into it. Let's talk about it so this is the revamped 360 lace frontal wig from rpg hair now as you guys know i have collaborated with rpg hair before in the past but normally when it comes to review products from them i am usually reviewing their straight lace frontal wigs begin with this is a 360 18 inch 150 percent density indian remy curly lace frontal wig. Anytime I hear Indian Remy hair texture, I always go back to when I used to wear sew-ins and when sew-ins and beauty supply hair was so popular. The upgrades. So this is a pre-plucked 360 lace frontal wig that does come with two inches of the lace already bleached. So pretty much this is one of your wigs where you can put on the wig and literally go after removing the lace of course. So when it comes to the pre-plucked hairline I did not have to go in and pluck the hairline at all this is the hairline on the wig after it has been washed uh, now this did come with pre-bleached knots which is only two inches now depending on the look that you are going for you may have to go in and bleach the knots I did I went in and bleached the knots because I just felt like two inches of bleached knots especially how I like to do my baby hairs on the side just wasn't going to give me that super scalp look that I like with my lace wigs especially with my curly wigs so that's why I decided to bleach the knots now you definitely don't have to do that you can simply put on the wig in its original state wash it of course cut the lace secure the wig down by using an elastic headband glue gel spray whatever you decide just make sure the wig is secured down so once you got that good and ready girl you are good to go I want to say I don't have any Indian Remy curly hair in my stash Indian Remy hair has always been a really good texture I don't know why it kind of faded away when the wigs came along when the lace frontal wigs came along but I honestly remember going to the beauty supply store and picking out Indian Remy hair for my um, sewing installs and have never had a problem with Indian Remy hair honestly I feel like it's a really nice texture that is very underrated so we all know the dimming brush is going to have your curls juicy and popping we know that so we saw that with the dimming brush the curls were super duper defined and just absolutely juicy now when it came to using my paddle brush this is where i was just blown away and really wowed because i have never seen my paddle brush create so many different curls in a wig like even to the point where the hair became wavy like this powder brush was really serving life today with this wig and this curl pattern like honestly i'm so geeked and happy that i was able to try out this upgraded wig from rpg hair because the curl pattern is just so beautiful so soft so juicy but most importantly the hairline is amazing now, it does not state in the info that this is a transparent lace but it is definitely giving me transparency all the way like you just can't go wrong with this wigs honestly i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you learned something definitely feel free to share this video of course if you are new here for the first time please consider subscribing to my channel and also you guys please don't forget to thumbs up this video and i will see you guys in the next video bye